so in this unit we will see linked list concept of uh, linked list its types then pros and cons of array and linked list operations on of linked list and representation of stack and queue using linked list in the previous unit we have seen data structures like stack and queue and circular queue in the way we, along with the applications and in this unit we will see the single linked list double linked list its types the operations and the various representations so what is linked list linked list is nothing but the collection of elements or collection of nodes where the nodes consist of data and pointer to the next field the major difference between array and linked list is regarding to its structure array is also the collection of elements but it is the index based data structure because each and every element is associated with an index but in linked list it is a data structure which contains sequence of elements where each element is linked to its next element linked list is also a linear data structure but linked list elements are not stored in continuous location we can store it in random way the uh, because the elements are linked by using pointers and that's why we can use the dynamic memory in linked list so linked list is collection of data elements and that data elements are called as nodes each node in a list consists of two parts data and pointer to the next node now we can see the example over here this is the link list in this the first data field is containing the field data the as we can see in the diagram the first field is the starting field that's why it is called as the head node and the last field is null because as it is last node the pointer is not pointing to any next new node that's why it is null so this was the diagram of linked list now pros and cons of array as comparison to linked list arrays can be used to store the linear data types but the limitation of array is size of array is fixed so we should know the maximum number of uh, elements that uh, ar that an array can have before its starting position because we have to allocate the memory space to the maximum element that an array can have inserting a new element in an array is expensive because we have to create the memory space for the new one by removing the older one so the advantages of linked list over the arrays are it is of dynamic size the linked list is not of fixed size and it is very easy to insert and delimit in the linked list because linked list is having the pointers so it is not necessary to store them in the continuous memory locations but the disadvantages of linked list over array are we cannot access the element randomly we have to search the element in the sequential manner starting from the first node and the extra memory space is required for storing the pointer we have seen the diagram each and every node is having the pointer node so the extra memory space is required for that pointer now the comparison of array and linked list we will see the comparison in terms of the features so the first feature is organization in array the elements are stored in linear order and they are accessible with the index in linked list the elements are stored in linear order but we can access them by the links the size of array is of fixed size whereas in linked list it is not fixed size so it is the dynamic size as array is having the fixed size it is not that much flexible but in linked list it is more flexible than array because it is of the dynamic size an array array can be expand beyond its size but the critical procedure is there because we have to remove the previous contents uh, for previous elements and then only we can create the space for the new element but as linked list is of the dynamic size we can expand it unlimitedly 
the random search is used in array we can search the element by random manner but in linked list we have to search the element by the sequential search the array requires the continuous memory location that's why it supports the static memory whereas the linked list doesn't require the continuous memory locations because each node is connected with the pointer so dynamic memory is supported by the linked list if we are considering the searching operation then array performance is better but if we are considering the insertion deletion operations then the performance of linked list is better so the representation of linked list in memory linked list is nothing but the pointer and the data elements collection so the first node of linked list is called as the head node but if the linked list is empty then the value of head node is null so each node consists of two parts that is data field and pointer field data field is responsible for holding the information and pointer field is responsible for holding the address of the next node as it is pointing to the next memory or next element so in c the node using structure and malloc function can be used to create the linked list for creation of linked list use of structure and malloc has been done in c now we can see the example over here where we have created the structure node and the uh, elements of our structure are data which is nothing but the element that will be stored over here and the pointer for pointing to the next field that is nothing but next so this was the representation of linked list in memory so today we have seen the linked list the advantages disadvantages of linked list comparison of array and linked list and the representation of linked list in memory in next session we will see the operations on linked list thank you